Hi! In this video we're going to show you how to download the flight logs from your RC controller so you can view them. In the previous video you were able to see them on the remote. However, when you view the flight logs on your desktop computer, whether it's PC or Mac, you could actually see all the errors. So if there's an error during flight, or if there's an error with the propeller, or if there's an error with your battery, or maybe your battery's not functioning well, um, all that will show up in the errors log. And the great thing about this is that there's nothing to download. So there'll be a link in the description. You have two options, but I recommend doing this one first right here because um, it's free and the other one's a paid version and, and you have to log in and etc. So when you click on the link, you see where it says Phantom Help Log Viewer? Okay, that's where you're gonna be. But first, before we do anything, you're gonna have to go to your DJI RC controller, right? And of course, plug it in. You have your USB-C connector. And the other one, right? Whether it's USB, uh, USB-C to USB-C, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. Um, you just have to make sure that this is a data cable, okay? And then you plug it into your machine, and depending on which version of the OS you have, you might get lucky. You might see your, uh, the, the DJI controller appear on a desktop, but in order to do that, you actually have to turn it on. Okay, I'll let that load up. And in the meantime, so different OS's have different experiences. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see uh, it's tried out on like eight or nine different machines. And in some machines, the controller shows up as a HD drive and in others, well, it doesn't. So it all depends on the DJI update. In this case, it was loading. But let's see if it was loading onto the uh, Nope, it didn't load onto the desktop, which is fine. Uh, I'll leave a link to the other uh, in the description below to how you can uh, retrieve that. But in the meantime, uh, let's type in Android and the file transfer. Okay, I'll leave a link to this again. So these are the flight logs here, and these are the TXT files, okay? All right, so then what you do is you can select them um, whether you're on Windows or Mac, you just go into your desktop or however you do it on other machines. New folder, and this will be called Flight uh, Records, right? Let's call it Record because there's already one on there. Which I like. And you just drag and drop them in, and see that it just happens really fast. Um, and then you can just close it out, right? And then we'll just uh, uh, back to where we were on this page. Um, I'm just gonna move that over a little bit and move it down to the flight records because this is the one I'm actually gonna be using. So you should have your folder that says flight record or records, okay? And all the flight TXT files are there, see that? Uh, but there's one particular one that I wanna see which I've labeled problems. .txt. You can label these whatever you want, but everything's in chronological order to the flight experiences that you had. So if this was your last flight, it would be, you know, numbered accordingly, let's say 1230, right? Um, uh, at this particular time, uh, 1422, etc. cetera. Um, and then it just goes on and on and on. Then you have other flights that were done on 1228. So anyway, let's just get to this one. This is the problems txt. So you click on the link, right? Or, and it'll bring you to another page. Uh, we can get, move that over a little bit. I'm just gonna slide this over so we can see since we're done with the RC controller. Okay. All right, so then what you're gonna do is scroll down. Of course, click that you're not a robot. Okay, uh, click on the stairs. That looks like stairs, I believe that, and that's it. That should be enough. Great, and then I'm going to browse, right? Um, flights, flight records, and it should be at the bottom. Problems, text, upload it. And select again, upload log. And if you wait a little bit, uh, you've uploaded too many logs over the past day. In order to make this service available for everyone, we must limit the number of upload logs. Um, 
so it looks like it's telling me to go to flight reader however hopefully it's not tracking me through my ISP um, we'll go to we'll try a uh, another browser hopefully remember um, okay let's try that again oh they are tracking through the ISP okay so let's try um, what's it called uh, let's try here start with a VPN <clears throat> um, let's see I want to go I want to go to Argentina and uh, looks like I got a few offers to become a premium member ha ah. second I'm just gonna close that out I'm just gonna pause this to see if I can get around this okay let's see if the tree free trial works allow apparently there's a limit to how much you can do I've seen the logs too many times okay I'm gonna change my VPN I want to go oh that's for premium okay so even though it says I'm connected well let's see what happens if I refresh nope Unless, let's try Opera. Opera is another browser, third party. Oh. Okay, let's see. Nice. Okay. So we're in Opera. Finish recording. I'm not sure what that. Oh, that's from Reflector since it was on, but we're not using it anymore. Okay. All right. So. Oh, again, gosh, so much for the VPN. Uh, premium, connected, let's see, all servers, United States. Connected is automatic. I want to... All right, I'm gonna pause this again and see if I can get around this. All right, so we found some software that's allowing us to override that. Might as well install the helper, NetShade. Okay, let's see, it's a VPN. Uh, you get the 30 day free trial or something like that. I'm going to try here. Oh, uh, we can check automatically. So don't be a log hog. If you're a log hog, you're gonna get a limited amount of uh, experiences to your, um, to your uh, logging ex data unless you go for the other version, which is free. I mean, not free, but paid. All right, so let's turn this on direct. We're gonna go, I think I wanna go to ye France. I've always wanted to go to France before. Okay, let's see if this works. Or France. <laughs> France sounds better. All right, so let's go back, press reload. Let's see, history, show full history. Clear browsing data. All right, that should do the trick. And if I go back, I'm not a robot. Well, that didn't seem to work, but let's try it anyway. I'm not a robot. Browse, flight records, the problems, text, open, upload. Please wait. That's what it says right there. Oh, there you go. Voila! It's working very well, my friend. We just pretend we in Paris. All right, so that works. Um, it'll load. Well, there we are. All right, so right now we are. Uh, if you need it in French with the subtitles, uh, feel free. All right, so yeah, this is great. Um, so all my flight data is here, but now remember, I, 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 I want to see this on my desktop because I'm like, what's happening with my drone? Something's not right. Um, and as you can see, aircraft not in flight, uh, data recorder, whatever, uh, motor, unable to rotate remote ID so these are all the errors that show up with uh, with that one experience my last experience so thankfully uh, so if I go down here see right there it says 
propeller guard. Oh, so anything that pops up on the screen too. So that was actually part of the update right here. So you could actually scrub through it. You see that green um, circle? If you sit click it, you can see everything that happened during that flight, which is great. Um, and it just happens, it just plays like a video in chronological order. And I can, up oh, look at that, cell two is like a yellow. I'm not really sure what that means, but um, some of you might already, you know, usually it's not in yellow. Why that is, I don't know. It could be because the cell is, what's the, let's see, ah, oh, 30%. Maybe at 30%, things just start to go a little bit bonkers, right? Okay, so if I go all the way down to the bottom, up oh, and there we go. Um, so this was an error that I was experiencing with my drone. It says vision sensors blocked. Um, and then there was another error that showed up where it was actually detecting a um, vision sensor was blocked. Um, ah, it was, no. It was detecting a different lens and the motor was blocked. Why? Well, I don't know. The drone didn't crash. Um, see, it says motor stuck. Um, so contact GGI for support, which I have. Oh, so you see it was returning home, right? And on the way home, something happened. And then somewhere along there, it also gave me an error. It said the different lens was detected, which I have no idea because the default lens is on there. Um, so yeah, this helps you. But you could also see and notice here, my battery was at 18%. And it tells you the battery voltage combined between the two, right? how many satellites were available, which is really weird because sometimes, you see, look, I have 12 satellites, but at other times, they're like, there are 30. So everything is uh, never consistent, um, except for the auto return home. And sometimes it'll come home. And as you can see, sometimes on the way home, um, things just go the way they want to go. So yeah and, and if i hope this helps you because you know some sometimes you these are things you can troubleshoot uh by downloading the what's the name of the app um you can down there's an app the dji ah, assistant which is here which i'll you'll see in another video but this let's say you have if you have too many errors on your drone you can launch the DJI Assistant, of course, the consumer version, because the other one doesn't seem to work, uh, and then do a f reinstall of the firmware, which I can show in another video. Anyway, I hope that this video helps you in, in, in your experience in viewing your logs, and hopefully um, you can continue to enjoy flying your drone. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below.